Terraforming is the process of altering a celestial body to make it more habitable by humans. We don't know if terraforming is actually feasible, but theoretically, it is possible. Hi, this is Chris, and welcome to Terraforming and the Expanse. In our solar system, Mars is considered to be the most likely candidate for terraforming. The terraforming project in the world of the Expanse is considered to be the greatest engineering project in human history. It is a driving force of Martian society, involving most of the population, either directly or indirectly. In the Expanse, Mars is in the process of being terraformed, and the main method to accomplish this is by using these massive terraforming towers. How these terraforming towers work and the fuel they burn is not exactly clear. We do know the basic premise of these towers, which is to burn a fuel, release a gas, allowing the greenhouse effect to take place, and thus increasing the overall temperature of Mars. Some argue that there is not enough CO2 on Mars to terraform it. If that is the case, importing CO2 to Mars might be an option, but this will be a logistical nightmare. The thing is, are terraforming towers the best way to go? Or is there another possible option? Another more violent way to terraform Mars is by bombarding it with icy comets. The hope is that these impacts will increase Mars's surface temperature while bringing additional water. Even after bombarding Mars with all these comets, we will still need to introduce oxygen to its surface. This can be done by introducing oxygen creating life, such as plants, algae, and bacteria. Terraforming Mars is an incredibly difficult thing to do. Humanity might even choose to live on the red planet without ever terraforming it at all. If we ever plan on being an interplanetary species, the technology that revolve around terraforming will be essential. I think that sometimes people underestimate how difficult it is to terraform a planet. This doesn't mean we shouldn't try. There is also another candidate for terraforming in our solar system, and that is Venus. Maybe I can explore that concept in a future video. What do you think is the best method to terraform Mars? Feel free to comment below. And thanks for watching.